Good afternoon and welcome to the National Miss Amazing Pageant. And like its name, the girls and women who enter this pageant truly are remarkable. My name is Jordan Summer and I'm the founder and executive director of Miss Amazing. Miss Amazing started as a small community program in my hometown of Omaha, Nebraska that I began when I was 13 years old. Miss Amazing operates kind of like a sporting event where we have our statewide events and then we have six representatives that are chosen from those and then they go to our big national event. And this is really trying to provide a platform for girls and women with disabilities to make their voices heard. My name is Afia and I'm 16 years old. From my time, I will be singing a cool song. I love Miss Amazing Pageant because it's really fun and I get to meet lots of cool friends. The Miss Amazing Pageant has brought so much to Sophia's life. She's gained so much confidence and self-worth. It feels really nice to see her be able to perform her favorite song because she doesn't get as many opportunities as other people. After rehearsal, Sophia heads upstairs to get glammed up for her big performance. How did you feel about the uh, rehearsal today? It was fun. You did a great job. Fun. I was really impressed. Thanks, Sophia is fearlessly showing the world who she is and being confident in that. And I think that's something that every person can struggle with. And she's doing that. So she continues to inspire me and amaze me every day. <laughs> It's time for the talent competition, and backstage, the room is filled with nervous excitement. Are you guys ready to witness the many talents of Miss Amazing representatives? The audience just gets so involved and to provide so much support to all these young women who might not have an opportunity to shine like this. Every time I see her perform, I'm just so proud of her. And just to see how happy she is is amazing. So it's been a lot of fun. I felt great. I felt confident in myself. And it was really fun. Like Sophia, contestant Stacy has also greatly benefited from being a part of the Miss Amazing pageant. When she was born, her heart stopped, and she was without oxygen for several minutes. And they told us she would never walk or talk. And there today, she danced with her ballet instructor, the only instructor in town willing to take a chance on a little girl with cerebral palsy that wanted to dance. I don't care if she wins. It doesn't matter. My little girl is dancing, and she's doing what she loves to do. And it, it just means the world to me. Every single one of the Miss Amazing participants inspires me. All of them are so unique and have their own little something that they can bring to the communities. And I want to provide that platform for those uh, girls to say, this is who I am, I'm important, and for the communities to recognize that as well. It was really fun to be on stage. I'll definitely come back again next year and compete again. I'm so proud of her. She just overcomes such obstacles. She shines here and is just so happy, which is the best part. 